The ABI calculation involves dividing each of the ankle pressures by the higher of the two brachial pressures to obtain the patient's right and left ABI. A difference of more than 20 millimeters of mercury between the right and left brachial pressures may indicate an upper extremity stenosis. If this occurs, verify the brachial pressure and consider further testing if the variance is repeated. The Vantage ABI quickly calculates the patient's ABI results automatically after the pressures are obtained by the cuffs. Recent guidelines published by the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association indicate that an ABI value less than 1 is cause for concern and ABI values less than 0.9 indicate the presence of arterial disease. A normal ABI value would range between 1 and 1.29. Unlike a Doppler-based ABI, the Vantage ABI can properly classify many patients with non-compressible arteries. However, if the ABI is above 1.3, the patient should undergo further testing, possibly including a toe brachial index exam. While you are performing an exam, Rather than seeing the pressure values next to the sites on the display, you may notice several alternate symbols. If an X appears, that site has been disabled and no pressure values or waveforms can be obtained. If a check mark appears, an ankle waveform has been obtained. If an L with an up arrow appears, increase the pressure limit for the site to 280. If an L with a down arrow appears, decrease the pressure limit for the site to 35. If the pressure limits must be changed, a pop-up warning will also appear on the screen. If an arrow pointing up appears at a site, the system is currently inflating that cuff site. If an arrow pointing down appears at a site, the system is currently deflating that cuff site. Three dots at a pressure site indicate that the system is calculating the pressure. If the letters NA appear, an erratic waveform is detected and is not analyzable. A pop-up warning will also appear. In this instance, the patient may have moved during the measurement or may suffer from tremors or arrhythmia. In this case, it may help to repeat the pressure determination at that site, which can be done by selecting the site and touching pump. Finally, if AR appears, the test results were abnormal and the ABI was not calculated. Presence of PAD could not be excluded. A pop-up warning will also appear. The Vantage ABI can automatically obtain ankle waveforms using the pulse volume recording, or PVR, with the cuffs. The diagnostic value of the ABI is enhanced by the analysis of lower extremity waveforms. Waveform analysis is especially valuable for patients with non-compressible arteries. The normal PVR waveform resembles the arterial pressure pulse. The normal waveform has a sharp systolic upstroke and a relatively narrow, well-defined peak. After peaking, the waveform drops quickly. There is a noticeable dichrotic notch. This is an abnormal waveform. Distal to an arterial occlusion, the waveform becomes more rounded. The rise and fall times are extended and the peak is less pronounced.